Got the that little ball and push rod and it's installed. I somewhat adjusted the the clutch a little bit just to get it close. I'll adjust it final when it's all together. But this is where the clutch cable will go through. Other than the centrifugal advance, the engine is pretty much all done. Let's see if I can get a view around it. Really came out good. I just put that, like I say, the chain guard on and just uh, so it doesn't get buggered up. I'll have to come back off when I put the engine back on and reassemble things, obviously. It's painted the way it originally was. Originally this lower part of the crankcase was not painted. And all the cooling fins are nice and clean on the bottom side. Everything looks good on it. Now I'm going to start on the frame and all the little brackets and all the little goodies that need to be painted black. Now to start blasting all the bracketry. It cleans up pretty quick and easy as you can see here. It pretty much all takes it down to nothing. Put another one on there. So I'll go around and blast everything and uh, get it primed up and ready to paint. Parts clean up super easy and super nice. Just can't get over how easily that. Just a breeze to clean this stuff up. I don't know how I'd do it without that bead blast came in. If I had to do these sanding by hand, I don't know if I'd enjoy it too much. I'm getting all the bits and pieces ready for paint. Getting the pieces painted. Now this is a satin black. The air cleaner box is gloss black. That's what the ignition goes in gloss. It's part of the headlight bracketry. Those pieces were gloss but the headlight bezel or mounting thing was satin. That's gloss black. Came out pretty darn nice. Those are engine mounting black, battery tray, gloss black, all these pieces. This is the part that goes on the engine that I was originally going to mask off. Completely repainted it too, so put that back on the engine once it dries. These are for the reflectors on the front fork. They're satin. These are the top engine mounts. They're gloss. This is the other headlight bracketry part and that's a satin so I just put a little flattener in the paint to flatten it out to do those and uh, so like you paint these pieces first and you add your flattener and paint the other pieces so it looks good come along now the frame I'm gonna paint it I'm not gonna powder coat it but I am gonna have it sandblasted the reason why I'm gonna paint it is because I think there's gonna be some little pits in here and the powder coating it'll show through and I can grind this out and sand it out after it's sandblasted I'll finish that out really good sand it and maybe have to put a film of filler just a filler primer so this is all smooth and glossy and they'll be easier to touch up if it does get a nick and I put the hardeners and additives in the paint so the paint will be pretty durable now if you watch my past video and you remember me talking about when I painted this motor once, you know, mixing the paint, once you add the hardener, it turns hard, well there it is. So I'll just show you kind of what it does. A little ribbon of paint around there, but this is 
completely dry. It's still a little rubbery, see I can squeeze it. Eventually that'll harden to where you can't do that either. You can see where the metallic settled as it went hard. I just thought that'd be interesting, so I just thought I'd include that in the, the video. And if I want to, probably could reuse this to mix paint in again if I wanted. So I got the brake pedal painted too, and I polished the, the spring for the pedal. I cleaned the ignition switch and stuff all up here. So that's all ready to go back in. I polished these up somewhat in the thing for the brake. I gotta polish the back side of these yet. This is the original one. These are replacement ones. I gotta paint this and polish the bolts. This is going to be uh, low gloss like these. I just didn't have it ready to paint yet. So it's no big deal. Just to, I gotta paint that and um, these. So I'll do them at the same time. That's no big deal to do that. And I buff the chrome bits and it's coming along pretty darn quick. Oh, and then these I'm going to paint with low gloss, but I got to disassemble them. And I'm going to buff the spring and so it all looks nice like it originally did. This is all headlight mounting stuff. This is a little resistor that was mounted in the headlight assembly. So it's, it's, uh, Looking good, the kickstand rubber, which I'll clean with lacquer thinner. The spring for the kickstand, which I'll buff. The air cleaner intake, which I took out, I'll clean that and some lacquer thinner. And this, which sits under the seat, clean that up. So it's mainly just a bunch of cleaning now that's left to do. Other than that, and probably next week, I'll drop that off at the powder coater to have them sandblast it. And these will fit in my blast cabinet, so I'm just going to blast them and do them myself. No big deal. And I brought my snow blower down to sell and I put it on Craigslist and the guy came within an hour of putting it on Craigslist. So it started on the first pole, but it wouldn't stay throttled up. A little, there's a little spring washer in here that that broke and that just drops down so you know you could throttle it up if you held it up as soon as you let go of it go right back down to idle and uh, how embarrassing so I ordered a new one of those this this part is obsolete through Tecumseh it's a H70 Tecumseh Snow King engine and uh, I ended up finding one on eBay correct part number so that should be here sometime next week, and I can get that on and get this thing back on Craigslist. You know, I bought this at an estate sale for $7.50. Put a new bearing in the impeller housing, repainted the bucket and the chute, painted up the engine. I had to rebuild the carburetor and clean the fuel system. I have a video up on it on the snowblower. I'll put it in the link to it in the description of... Uh, what I did to get this thing going but yeah nothing more embarrassing somebody comes to buy something and then it breaks right there on the spot but it did start on the first pole and the last time it was started was when I finished it last summer so it hadn't been started in quite a few six six months anyway and Tom my friend Tom dropped by and he put a coat of wax on the truck for me he likes to wax vehicles I hate waxing vehicles he enjoys it I do it because the vehicle lasts longer, the paint job and everything will last longer. So I do it maybe twice a year. He does his car, his Cadillac like six times a year. And he's like, no, I like waxing cars. I'll come over and wax your truck for you. So it's just got a fresh coat of wax on it. It looks like a brand new truck. I don't want to drive it now, get it dirty. And this is the wax that I got that he used. And I told him anytime he wants to bring his Cadillac over and put it in the heated garage to wax it. He's more than welcome to bring it over anytime he wanted to, anytime he wants to uh, polish his car up. He just did it, so he said he was all good. And keep an eye on my videos. One day if we get a little bit of snow before Christmas, I'll do a video on all my lights. I'm not even going to bother until we hopefully get snow before Christmas. If we don't, I'll do a video on them, but 
I would like snow to do a video on Christmas light. So again, if you enjoy my channel, please subscribe and thank you for watching.